It's a good intro. What do you think? Jay DeMerritt here, obviously former Vancouver Whitecap. Uh, now Life After Soccer is seeing you take the stage TEDx Vancouver this weekend. Congratulations mm -hmm. on the honor. Thank you. Now, you've told your story many a time, but how is the preparation unique when you're preparing for a TEDx talk? Well, it's certainly different. You know, again, every, a lot of people know about my story, but, uh, you know, in TED, it's always about, you know, A, you only have 18 minutes. So that, in, in turn, changes everything. You're not a keynote speaker. You can't go up there and just talk. It's, it's about dialing it in, basically, to prove one point. And for TED, again, it's, 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 it's trying to prove that kind of world-changing point that, you know, that maybe people don't realize or, 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 or taking your experiences and turning it into, uh, you know, how do all these stories, uh, you know, resonate into one certain point that I can take away as a viewer. So, you know, again, that that's a little bit of a different dynamic as far as how you prepare for a speech. So, you know, and you know, we're still doing that right now. You've got your audience, you know, from your accomplishments on the pitch all around the world and, of course, with the Vancouver Whitecaps FC. But how does this... Uh, ma you know, managing your nerves, managing your stress differ. You've got thousands of people in, in a stadium watching you, and now you're going to have mm -hmm. thousands on a stage. How does that <laughs> enter your psychology? Well, for one, it's just you up there. <laughs> I don't have 10 guys to have my back, I suppose. But, uh, uh, you know, for, for me, it's, it's just about, uh, you know, trying to not get taken about by the by, by the environment and just going out there and having fun with it you know ultimately you get chosen to do these things because you have a story to tell and uh, you know I enjoy telling my story because thankfully it resonates with a lot of different people and a lot of the things I've gone through uh, hopefully you know I, I've learned a lot of lessons that I can now share with others that hopefully they can take into their own lives and for me that's what speaking is all about it's about you know going out there if you have something to say and saying it in, in the right way so the audience itself can can grasp that and, and you know put it to their own lives you know I think a good speaker always makes the audience want to listen to you know that presenter on stage when you look mm -hmm. at your story and the message and the lessons you've learned what's the one big thing that that, that that you can provide to help fix the problem for the audience that exists out there uh, well we'll hopefully see that on uh, on Saturday but uh, you know for me uh, I think what the audience really resonates with it is, is, is just exactly that. I'm, I'm, I'm a regular guy that has done a lot of different things and hopefully, you know, because of the wide range of experiences that I've had, the ups, the downs, the adversities, the, uh, you, you know, the hard lessons and also the great stories that I've actually had to do, some of the great accomplishments that I've been fortunate to have, you know, hopefully somewhere in there they'll be able to relate to me somehow. You know, instead of like, you know, your, your traditional speaker will, might go up there and say, you know what, I don't really understand what he's talking about. I can't resonate with that person. But, you know, thankfully because I have have such a wide range of experiences in my life hopefully they can come and take something away of that you know what you know I can relate to that to that guy and, and you know I, I liked what he had to say yeah well you can only tell us so much because the full TED talk goes down Saturday on stage last time you were on BT you were with your wife Ashley talking about dinner by design how is life after soccer and how much is, is design a part of your life now Oh, it's hugely important, you know, again, that, the creative process, and that's another thing I, I'll touch on as well, is just that, uh, you know, going to design school and learning the creative process of how you look at something, you know, even as an athlete, you know, I take those environments and I take those those values that I learned as a design student, you know, the creative process, how to look at something uh, as a designer and, and, and take what's good of it. And, and do that way or figure out what's bad of it and don't do that anymore. Do you know what I mean? So it's those types of things that I'm, I'm now using to navigate my, my new life as, 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 a, as a professional person. And that's just to, you know, same thing as an athlete. You, you look at what's great, you look at what isn't so great, you tinker with the things that are right, that are right and then you don't tinker with the things that, uh, that are working well. So, you know, for right now, I'm in that transition phase in my own life and trying to figure out what works and what doesn't. And so far, it's been really fun. Well, it's going to be fun to watch the transition play out on stage. TEDx mm -hmm. Vancouver, Jay will be speaking. Check it out this weekend, tedxvancouver.com for tickets. But if you want to win a pair of tickets right now, contests at btvancouver.ca, subject line TEDx. Good luck to you, man. Thank you. It's we'll see you there.